All right, guys, the Iceman here in a video, and um, look, this is how it is, all right? I've so much, so much bullshit has been going on as of late. Triple H wanting to take Cena and Orton out of the main event, um, wanting to push the likes of Rollins, Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, uh, Roman Reigns, no problem with pushing these guys whatsoever. But it, what you need to understand is who has paved the way for these guys to come up. John Cena, Randy Orton, two of the guys that have been around since the early 2000s and have been there on a continual basis, night in and night out. A lot of people are talking about The Undertaker having a match with possibly the Sting, or possibly would Bray Wyatt at, at, at WrestleMania 31. Who really gives a shit? The man hasn't been around for a friggin' year. Triple H. If it weren't for the fact that he wasn't married to the boss's daughter, don't you think he'd still be wanting to be in the ring right now? Don't you think he'd be probably the 15th, 16th time World Heavyweight Champion? For the WWE, come on. His ego. People need to understand. A lot of old school wrestlers do understand this. That there comes a time where appreciate the guys that have paved the way for the guys coming up into the future. The Rock. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, they paved the way for guys like Kurt Angle, um, Randy Orton, John Cena. They helped elevate their career. That's what they did. And this is what Cena and Orton is doing now for these younger guys. But people don't appreciate the fact because these guys are still on top. The bottom line is, you take Cena and Orton away from the WWE at the top of the ladder. Who do you got? Who really is there that can really, really represent the WWE? There's nobody. There's nobody established as of yet. <coughs> One man that I don't think is going to get there, but I think he truly deserves it, is Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is the guy. He's growing in popularity every single day. But will the WWE give it to him? Probably not. Daniel Bryan had the opportunity to be there. He was almost there. Did he have the looks? Did he have the... Who knows? I don't know, but he got injured. And now you have Dean Ambrose. You have Seth Rollins, who is like horrible on the microphone. The guy needs to shut his mouth because he can't fucking talk. You got Roman Reigns, who is trying to be groomed, supposedly, to be the next face of the WWE. I don't see it being Roman Reigns. Unfortunately, I like him, but I don't see it happening. And there you have Bray Wyatt, who is this guy that is sort of like weird in so many ways. Um, but... I, you know, realistically, for people to sit there and criticize the John Cena's of the world and the Randy Orton's of the world, I know everybody's saying, well, we're tired of seeing Cena on top. But look at the whole overall picture. Look at it and really look at it cons constructively because when all else fails, you have that go-to guy. And it is John Cena or it is Randy Orton. We have Brock Lesnar as a fucking WWE champion. Worthless piece of shit, right? Come on, guys. Really. He's a worthless piece of shit. Um, I would love to see Randy Orton come back just at the Raw, just before the Rumble, as a huge baby face, go into that Rumble, friggin' end up winning it, 
going into WrestleMania, if Cena does not win against Lesnar at the Rumble, have Randy Orton go in and beat the living hell out of Brock Lesnar because I've never seen this match before. And everybody's saying, oh, here we go again. Another guy. But <laughs> you you got to be realistic in wrestling. If you haven't seen wrestling from the past and the wrestling that we see now, they are to totally two different anomalies. And the bottom line is, for me, wrestling now is like a joke. It's entertainment, which obviously it's WWE entertainment, quote unquote. And I understand that. But still, you, you need to put that wrestling value for that person or persons who are contending for the title. We haven't had a title uh, defense since Night of Champions. What does that tell you? You know, be that as it may, say what you want about John Cena. Say what you want about Randy Orton. I know Triple H is saying that time has come for the new blood to move in and to take over. Well, guess what, Triple H? If that's what you have plans on doing, then fucking do it. Don't fucking wait. It's tiring week after week after week that we have to go through the same friggin' matches. I would love to see John Cena get his 16th title at the Rumble, which would be 2015, and so be it, he loses at WrestleMania. It will be a 16th title win. Whoever beats him would be very prestigious for that person. With Brock Lesnar, everybody, you know, you people that that prey on these guys that keep coming back part-time, The Rock, who gives a fuck about The Rock? Who gives a fuck about The Undertaker being gone for a year? Why do you want to see him? He lost to Lesnar. His streak is over. It don't mean a friggin' thing no more. It don't. Be realistic. It don't. The Undertaker coming back and Mania wrestling don't mean nothing. The WWE fucked up by having him lose to Lesnar last year, or this this year. And I think they should have kept the streak intact. Um, I think he deserved it. And I don't think not one man, not even Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman's advocate, even deserved to do so. Um, I don't think anybody, John Cena, Randy Orton, anybody had the right to break the streak. If Shawn Michaels couldn't do it a couple times and Triple H couldn't have done it, why? WWE is in sort of somewhat of a disarray, and but you guys need to understand that I know there's a lot of John Cena haters out there. The guy is just doing his job. But remember this. If it wasn't for John Cena, if it wasn't for Randy Orton, where would WWE be today? They're, they would lucky if they would even be around. Because next year in 2015, when TNA... Global Force Wrestling comes around, WWE is going to have some sort of competition, whether they want to believe it or not. I think Jeff Jarrett is going to really do a number on the WWE. And they do, between Jarrett and Vince McMahon, there is like a vendetta there. Um, because Jarrett and Vince McMahon had some sort of issue way back when. So, you know, before you criticize the likes of Cena, before you criticize the likes of Randy Orton, which when Randy Orton does come back, he's going to come back as a face and he's going to come back as a huge face. And I hope he kicks the shit out of everybody. Um, I'm not the biggest of Randy Orton fans, but when he's a face, I love watching him. 
and this is what the WWE right now needs. I mean, you have your young stars coming up, but you can't just put them. You you need somebody that is going to be there and there and there and there for the upcoming years. You want to take John Cena away out of the equation? Tell me right now who's in the equation. Dolph Ziggler is one of them, and I think a very, very baby face, Randy Orton, could be one as well. Iceman here on a Tuesday night. Peace out, everybody. See you next time. Um, we got another, like, seven days left in the year, and we're going to call it quits, so... Peace out, everybody.